ladies and gents, welcome to the new car show in Prague. We're checking the Renault eSpace for the first time. This is the uh, Austral, just bigger version. Let's check out the car. Here's the new Renault eSpace. Uh, again, Austral, just uh, extra large with a third row or seven seats. So we have a beautiful spec here in this dark blue metallic color with some black uh, details. So let's check it out. On the front, it looks like Austral. Uh, we have those uh, creases on the hood there. Uh, beautiful blue metallic color. If I come a little bit closer there, you can see the daytime running light uh, top turns to dynamic turn signals. You know uh, already that from the Austral projectors on the top and bottom. Uh, piano black details. Uh, actually, excuse me, metallic black uh, details extending through the arches. So these arches are uh, just piano black. And then there's a skirt also in black. Uh, black contrasting side mirrors as well. Now, grill is also piano black with a chrome extending towards the new diamond badge, uh, which is also the radar. Uh, there is 360 camera there. So this bottom part is not painted. There's air intake and there is a nice protection for the radiator, although these are not too big openings, but still big enough for get some stone chips inside. This was not protected. Now, let me back up so you can see the whole car. So definitely, if you like the Astral, you're gonna like the E-Space. This is a full hybrid. So a very elegant SUV and very uh, also uh, updated with the new infotainment. So beautiful diamond cut, silver on black alloys. And these are, um, let me check here. So these are 235, 45 R20. Uh, these are already Continental Winter Contact TS 870P, really good um, winter tire. So checking the profile, it's a very long extended, again, eSpace is extended Astral, metallic black side mirrors, turn signals, you have the wide lens for 360 parking. You have nice uh, black window trims. This is also aluminum. Uh, black banner roof, not openable, shark fin antenna, tinted rear windows, so you have a longer windows to the rear on the e-space, skirt in black, you can see the beautiful alloys, and checking the rear, it looks really gorgeous, the car is amazing, I think I even like more the e-space rather than the straw, it's the same, but it's a little bit longer, I prefer that personally, there's a shark fin antenna in black. The spoiler extends and goes slightly downwards and you can see these for better aerodynamics. Stop light is on the top. And then I love the taillights. This is just gorgeous looking. You have those dynamic turn signals here. These are beautiful 3D plexiglass pieces inside. Badge, E-Space. Uh, it's an E-Tech hybrid, so it has the gold E. So, piano black, cat eyes and fog lights, reverse lights in LED. Exhaust pipe is there. Wide lens for the backing, LED illumination cool, and you can pop here to open it up. So I'm a two meter tall person, but this one doesn't open so tall. It's kind of short to be honest so you can manually adjust the height here hold this until you hear a beep so in that case you will memorize the height so if you have a garage that's important it's lower not to hit the ceiling uh, this is nice and flat so this one you can put it up like that so there's a cover here you can see and there's a room for patching kit first uh, first aid emergency triangle and so on so there's a small space between the rear seat. Uh, you can see how that seat looks uh, there. Now, I might knock it down so you can see how that looks when you have cargo, excuse me, or the third seats down or normal cargo looking space. Uh, warm light on the right side. Hooks for maybe net. Uh, there's a seat pillow holder there, speaker there. You can knock down the rear. There are cup holders, two USB-C's there. 
and same on the other side and yeah same uh, this is closed so put the seatbelt there so I'm going to put this one up uh, you can see seats knocked down 60 40 you can knock down the middle part so I'm just gonna let this one up so you can see it from the rear seat so just another look from this angle it's a real beauty I gotta say so the car looks just amazing I love it now good closing sound I think the yeah front doors are slightly heavier so they have better closing sound once again for control so it's all-wheel drive so definitely out yeah. uh, slightly lighter doors so the others are slightly heavy and better closing sound uh, good seals on the top there doors go all the way down hard plastic hard plastic and then this is softly padded leather this is also softly padded so nice combo black and white have some uh, country stitching some orange or gray or white there automatic windows so nice big pockets speaker here and here two speakers so we have a little transmission tunnel there the seats can push up slide back and forward nice smooth leather perforated have the isofix points there Ooh, nice headrest with cushions that's an extra there so that's really nice looking premium so aha uh -huh, the seats slide so you can enter the back but what if I so there is a seatbelt holder here as well but what if I want to lower this only is that not optional apparently no so hmm, there might be something else that I need to like control okay we'll see because it would be a shame you can see the rear seat and the rear cargo space be really shame so you can see it could be 90 degrees or tilted look at the top as well kind of roof okay jumping inside plenty of feet room and knee room there's a big net here this is all covered by leather now it's molding for knee room yes I've managed to uh, wipe the floor again with white trousers regular audience knows this and I think this is the last time I'm wearing these <laughs> uh, sorry a little off topic there uh, but some people are gonna ask um, so plenty of new room back to the review you can adjust the seatbelt height all four sides have handles and on the back you have those little hooks nothing in the B pillar uh, you can press here inside and lower that one you can see that and AC vents two USB C's this is blank and seats are nice and comfy wide so this one okay apparently you just have to pull it a little harder and then you can knock this down so I actually extended the headrest in the middle maybe too much but uh, there you go that's how it looks you have room for a tablet phone maybe pen two cup holders view at the back there are touch lights here and this is nice and long look at the size of this window there's another one there we really love these cushions the way they look we at the top we at the front familiar Austral from Austral headspace well excellent headspace despite the pan roof and ooh, really comfortable cushions there let me just see something here um, actually it's here no, this is the maximum level that you can go backwards apparently but let me just see here you can whoa okay my feet are here so you can probably slide even further but that's a lot of room there let's get on the front okay just checking here not to forget you can push this down to lock from the inside if you have kids with safety uh, driver's side has a plastic bob up here there's a physical cylinder Okay, so the plate for 12 volt battery there's a blind spot in the mirror and blind spot little light that pops when you have a car in the blind spot uh opens very wide cutting this in there's your uh, tire pressure green. 
same seals soft on the front ambient lights on the front harman kardon speakers so speaker on the bottom and the top as on the rear big pockets you can lock the rear all are electronic and automatic you can fold and adjust the mirrors electronically Renault signature then in aluminium e-space carpets standard catalyst there's a little room here maybe for a garage opener electronic parking brake auto fold and you can adjust the steering column manually lane assist traction off open the cargo from the driver position and elimination of the infotainment screen back forward there is easy entry top lumbar and so what is this i saw something moving but then i've I watched the button so it does something uh bolsters here are bigger but kind of shallow on the bottom but nice and comfy seats from the astral so i'm not sure this is something maybe a memory option perhaps i don't see memory buttons uh okay view at the top there and uh let's jump inside closing up okay switching to wide lens so as in the Austral, have this greening, nice colors, and it looks pretty nice. Let me just get a little bit forward. Okay, I'm going to be short on this one because I've already covered this on the Austral. So if you want to see that, um, you know, just check out that. Just quickly going through here, we have the nice smooth leather. It has a little bit of texture to it, preferred on the inside, three spoke. You have the driving modes here, comfort, personal, eco, sport, and so on cruise options views for the infotainment you have the maps you have the front like for the distance lane assist and have the classical one now the maps if i come closer the screen is flickering only on the camera you have the sport paddles there you have the lights controls automatic long beam wiper controls this is for park reverse neutral drive press here for parking Air vents. So, hard plastic Harman Kardon speakers really look nice there. Uh, heads up display, it's currently not on. Speaker there, and I really like this cloth going sort of dark and gray. So, this dash is the same as on the Astral. Ambient lights, this is wood imitation. Air vents, slowly opening but big and spacious glove compartment there. A nice, cool light. Start stop engine, we have a big beautiful screen. Turn it on and off, volume, AC controls at the bottom. Print the off, you have the hazards. Unfortunately, you cannot see them in the driver mirrors, only in the infotainment, but you can see them on the avatar there. It's cool. I can lock and lock the car from the inside. AC controls, two USB C's, mobile outlet, two cup holders. This is rubberized. And this as well, this, these are adjustable. You can put your phone here for wireless charging. Now this is just a rest. You can uh, push it from the front and you have some space here. And rest here. There's a big uh, space here. Uh, and you have these so you don't squash a cable if you have a, something going inside with a cable. Uh, this is nice and soft. Uh, ISO fix points here. The seats are quite comfy. Now let me just uh, show you the headspace. Plenty of headroom. So yeah, quite comfortable. Let me press that button that I didn't know I was it for. Not sure. Oh, it's maybe uh, on the screen. Like you have a memory position. Uh, for check audience. Here's the price, here's the model, here's the equipment. So you have Techno, Iconic, and Esprit Alpine package. Uh, not sure if this is a, maybe a Techno. I know it's not Esprit Alpine, it has a little French flag and so on. And here's like some standard equipment there. Um, I think I'm just gonna store that right over there. It's so not in the way. Okay, and a little glimpse at the infotainment. You have Google Maps. Uh, nice and fast, uh, slightly flickery sometimes on the camera only, once again. Uh, stations, phone calls, <clears throat> you have your apps, over-the-air updates, driving modes, 
can personalize them. Okay, this is in Czech, I haven't switched it to English. Let me just get here and see here. <clears throat> System. Yes, so, or is it? No, this is for the, oh. Is this for voice commands or English? Let me see if this is, ha, huh, Australian, Canadian, Indian, United Kingdom, United States. Okay, we're in Europe, so we're gonna check UK, but this is the, not, this is an input. Actually, no, it's in, in English now, okay? So you can see here, electric range, energy, so this is the energy flow. Press here to show the consumption. You can see all of that. There's a 360 camera that doesn't work without the key, seats, easy entry, easy uh, massage. We also have for the passenger, of course. So you can see that. Air quality. This would clean the air from the inside. Currently maybe not available without the key driving eco. You can see your score here, how uh, eco you're driving. Assistance, blend. Spot lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, and so on, all the good stuff. So you can see all of that. Speed warning, and so on. Uh, there's a parking assistance. <clears throat> you can see all of those as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here, like individual settings for the sound, volume, and so on. Uh, there's a lot of those. Let me just see system and return about So that's the new system and software version again software updates are available AC controls at the bottom you can turn it on or off max low rear defrost automatic close air circulation max or low air direction passenger um, It's currently in a demo mode for the car show. So it's not working. I don't see the heads-up display for the moment, so apologies for not showing that. Uh, someone's browsing the car, but you can see baseless mirror has auto dimming. Passenger airbag information. There's a little flint in, actually, excuse me, there was flint in uh, some other models. This was just plastic, but this is cool. So like that, you can uh, check the rear. I mean, you can like, now you can see the rear is a good overview uh, on the rear for the back mirror but then you can have uh, watching the back and then this one checking the passengers like if you have kids or if you're a cab driver you can check what your passenger is doing in the back emergency calls uh, touch lights and uh, this is maybe for other models that would have a shade this one doesn't it has a tinted roof so that's it and over here um, documents holder and beauty uh, mirror there with the light on the top that's and close this when you close the little lid for the mirror. Uh, doesn't extend, there is an area here that is not being covered. Overall, uh, great car, great new infotainment, uh, real fun. I'm not sure if I showed the headspace, I think I did, but very comfortable uh, car. At least I tested the uh, Austral, so this would be even more comfier. French cars are known for their comfort. And uh, let's get on the front and show the bonnet and wrap the video if you do like the video give this a like button share it with your friends also subscribe and click the bell to get notified when i upload more videos it's going to be more uh, car reviews of course on the channel and backing up here you can see the full car in the frame so once again it's a uh, full hybrid that's what they call it uh, basically you have a petrol engine and you have an electric motor I'm gonna put the tech specs in the video link in the description and your washer fluid is in this case uh, great right over here uh, there's a big symbol not to pressure wash your engine bay uh, probably due to electric uh, components uh, close it up uh, closes perfectly um, and there it is um, let's check here so uh, we are in Czech Republic, so this is the E-Tech Full Hybrid. Um, so I don't see an English version of this. So I'm just browsing through this. You can find probably 
uh, find this on your local um, web. Uh, so eTech for hybrid 200k, not sure what that means. Um, I think this is driving up to 130 on electric, average 4.6 liter fuel consumption. Okay. And just checking some other details, new infotainment. <clears throat> A lot of safety features there. Six color options. Uh, a lot of interior options, so check this one. There's a dark interior. Actually, excuse me, this is a light interior. Okay, there's a gray interior, black, and uh, this white interior. You can check different alloys. Uh, you can have a cover for the top, so it's an option. Um, oh, so this is a 200 horsepower, I assume. So yeah, 200 horsepower and then 205 for the electric motor. I wonder what's the system horsepower. Uh, dimensions, cargo space. Uh, 5C would have 580 watt meters of cargo space, if I'm not mistaken. And then with the 7C, 477. Or is it 159? Not sure. Uh, this goes to the next one. And so you can see beautiful 3D details on the uh, dynamic current signals there you can see them in the side mirrors and you can see the beautiful front dynamic turn signals or hazards uh, once again thank you for watching do subscribe if you want to see more click the bell to get notified and uh, hope to see you next one bye